Hello, my name is Christos Palilogos of the Applied Electronics Laboratory of the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at the University of Patras in Greece. I'm going to demonstrate you the software that was implemented to convert pictures into interactive audible files. The users touch all over an image which is displayed in the screen, giving thus the ability to explore themselves each image. Thanks to the system, visually impaired people will be capable to hear an image but also interact with it as well as enjoy images together with their family and friends. Moreover, a vibrating function assists in easier identifications of the borders of astronomical objects. The purpose of this app is to aid visually impaired or blind people to feel astronomical objects which are showed in images either hard-coded in the application, either downloaded from the Erasmus Plus Astronomy for the Blind and the Disabled project database, where photos from the digital observatory of the project are stored. The app is developed to be used in any Android smartphone or tablet. There are not at the moment other versions of the application for I iOS or any other operating system. This is at the top of our priorities concerning our future work. A very challenging part of the development of this application was to achieve the best in accessibility terms. So we actualized this in two levels. The first level of accessibility comes into the pre-coded instructions in every stage of the application. It is a set of instructions recorded by a special therapist who uses mainly music to teach children with disabilities. These instructions give the user the opportunity to know every time in which menu he's into and what should be user's next step to proceed into all the application features. The second level of accessibility comes into the voice commands. The user can navigate through every menu and feature of the application by giving specific, specific voice commands into the app. About those commands, he is informed by the pre-recorded pre instructions. The only thing the user has to do to give a command is just hold down the left side of the screen with his finger and release it after giving the instruction. As I mentioned before, this application helps the users feel astronomical objects. There are projected in the tablet or the smartphone screen astronomical photos, in example planet photos, galaxy photos, star photos, etc. And the user is going to find out what's in the screen in two steps. The shape recognition of the projected object is given to the user through the vibration of the device and the most challenging part, the colors and the brightness of the object, are going to be given to the user by transla translating the colors into sound. Let's take a closer look to these two main functions of the app. The shape identification of the object takes place before the color recognition. While the user is touching the screen, the moment he touches the borders of the object, the device is going to vibrate so he can understand that he reached the borders. Now, by following the vibration and by linking it in his mind with the gestures he is doing, he can identify the shape of the object. Every photo is coming in the application with its contour photo, a photo where only the borders of the object displayed in the screen are drawn. The user can't see the border image, but this image is letting the application know if the user is touching the borders and allows the device to vibrate if necessary. In the color recognition mode, the user is going to understand what are the colors in the area he is touching by translating the colors into sound. So, what are these sounds? Each sound is a sine wave with a specific frequency which is played in a specific volume level. The frequency of each sine wave is been extracted from the hue of the color and the volume on which every sine wave is played. The volume has been extracted from the lightness of each color. Hue and lightness are two main variables of the HSL and digital color representation. So we divide every image into 900 to 1000 blocks of pixels. We act on them like separate images and produce only one sound for each block. The reason for that is to reduce the proportion of the produced sounds because the feedback we had at the time of developing the app from visual impaired people as we were producing a sound per pixel was not the best we could have. Now in each block we extract the HSL value which are needed and we produce a sine wave with the right frequency and the right volume level. The theory behind this visual to oral tr translation comes from a neurological phenomenon called sonochromatism and was introduced by Neil Harbison, a digital artist. 
He created a scale called Sonochromatic Music Scale and links the 12 most basic colors of the color spectrum with specific music notes. Based on this, the application decides which is the correct frequency to play in each block the user is touching at the exact moment. The volume level of the note is decided by a simple logarithmic scale based on the lightness of the block. After a short summary of the theory behind the translation, let me introduce, it, introduce you the interface of our application before presenting you a demo video of our app. Get the Getting into the main menu of the app, we can see, apart from the quit button, the two buttons which lead to the two main functions of the app, play function and train function. The user can also spot the microphone by pressing down the left side of the screen where the microphone is and giving them voice commands he is aware about from the voice instructions, the users can have access into every function of the app. Getting into the train menu, the user interacts with three geometrical objects, a square, a triangle and a circle. This training stage is a shape recognition stage. The user is aware about the content of those images and he tries to follow the vibration of the device while touching the object borders and link his moves with information about the content of each image he already has. Proceeding to the next level of training, the user is going to be trained into color and brightness recognition. Here, the user continues to be aware of the content of the photo from the voice instruction of the app, and now the user deals with a set of three images again. A two-color image, a gradient color image, and a sonochromatic scale color image, in which appears every color and sound the user is going to deal with into the main function of the app, the play function. Into the play menu, the user is getting information about the hard-coded images of the app. He can select one of those and start playing with them, or he can enter the download menu and choose an image from the digital observatory of the app. At the moment the user chooses an image to interact with, and after getting the basic training experience, he is ready now to explore the selected astronomical objects. While entering into the play mode, the shape recognition mode is enabled by saying color, the user is entering the color recognition mode, and by saying shape, the user gets back to the previous mode. And more or less, that's how the application works. Before presenting you the demo video of the application, I'd like to mention that the application was tested and we're getting feedback through the whole process of development. Those test and run sessions took place in several associations and organizations that are relative to visual impaired and blind people, and we're very, very glad for this collaboration. Thank you very much for your attention, and now you'll be able to watch the demo video of the A4BD application. Say play to enter the play mode, say train to enter training mode, or say quit to quit the application. The application uses sounds to translate colors. Please swipe your finger across the screen in order to hear the two different sounds of the two halves of the square currently on the screen. one of the following astronomical objects by saying its name. Planet Jupiter. Swipe your fingers across the screen in order to detect the shape of the chosen astronomical object. Say color to proceed to color recognition mode or say exit to go back to the astronomical object list. <laughs> 